why is this so difficult? <laughs> I know I need to let go. I need to trust in the universe. Hey, it's Dawn from Happy Home and Garden with John and Dawn, and today I'm doing something very unusual. Uh, let's call it a reverse thrift haul. So what the heck is a reverse thrift haul? Behind me is my car. It's packed with stuff. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I love stuff. Yes, I go thrift shopping, I collect stuff, I get rid of stuff, I give away stuff, I sell stuff. I'm by no means a hoarder, but I do enjoy stuff. I do tend to get cluttered, but I'm not a hoarder. Lots of times I feel like Robin Hood with stuff, but without the stealing part. Lots of times people will say to me, Hey Dawn, you want some stuff? And I'm like, yeah, I'll take some stuff. So then I get stuff. And sometimes it's too much. And lately, it has been a little too much. Now, usually I do like to sell my stuff because I look at this stuff as money. Almost everything in here I could turn around and sell or bring to the consignment shop and make some money off of it. And this is how I sort of bring in a little bit of income. It's not like huge amounts of income. It's a few hundred bucks a year. You know, it's, it's like lunch money, basically. But I enjoy it. I enjoy bringing stuff and selling stuff. I enjoy the... I enjoy the excuse to go to the thrift shop too and look around and it's the thrill of the hunt. Even if I don't bring anything home, I'm, I'm just happy being out and thrifting and, and seeing what's out there. I also love the cycle of stuff. I love the way that you could go to a thrift shop and buy something that somebody else had and keep it out of a landfill because part of my life is keeping things out of landfills. I recycle like crazy. I find ways of using things without throwing it in the trash. Because once it goes in a landfill, that's it. It's done. It's like a cat burying their poop. You know, you throw it away and it ends up in a big pile somewhere covered up. What good is that? That's not good for the earth. So reverse thrift haul. What is it? It's when you get rid of your stuff and you donate it. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> it's when you finally say, I'm done. I am done with all this stuff, or at least the quantity of it anyway. So for the past few weeks, I've been sorting through all sorts of things in my house, and this is the result. My goal was to fill my car, which I have done. I've even gotten rid of stuff. I gave stuff to my mother-in-law, I gave stuff to a friend, she came over and put stuff in her trunk, and another friend came over, this is what she took. So I'm going to give you a tour of what's in my car. It's basically a lot of household stuff, a lot of like fleece in here. One of the things I'm doing is I'm reducing my microplastics intake. Apparently we ingest a credit card size worth of plastic Ugh. every year because of microplastics. And things like this, like this is all polyester, this is acrylic, this is fleece, this is all polyester. It's all synthetic and all made from petroleum, which will shed microplastics. I'm now trying to convert as much as I can into natural fibers. Went through my fabrics as well, which was very hard for me, but I did it. Some other things I'm getting rid of, another pile of clothes, some more clothes. On this side of the car, there's more stuff. So come with me on my journey to get rid of my stuff. So just to let you know, this is actually really hard for me to do this. I have been very emotional the last few days. I've never donated this much stuff all at once. I usually sell it or give it away to friends or family or keep it in my house so I can bring it to the consignment shop because the local consignment shop only takes 15 items a week. And since this COVID pandemic, they've been closed. They usually close for the summer and open in September anyway. But honestly, I don't even want to hold on to all this stuff. It's just too much stuff. I know I need to let go need to trust in the universe because the universe will provide because that's always what my mom said and it does it's insane like how many times I'll need something and voila I manifest it because that's how manifestation works you get in the zone and you're all like I would like this thing in my life and poof it shows up just like the other day we're putting down some pavers in the back of our yard and I thought, oh, gee, it would be really nice to have some little rocks to put underneath this. But I really don't feel like paying for rocks because it's really weird paying for rocks. My neighbor was getting rid of some rocks and they put a nice pile of them at the bottom of our driveway. So voila, manifested rocks. Rock on, man. <laughs> By the way, thanks for sticking with me on this video. So I decided to go to the Goodwill in Amherst, New Hampshire. Why? Because it's close by. Two, it's one of only two places that are open right now because of the pandemic. And three, I really don't want to wait till the thrift shop is open in September. I got to do it now. 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 I'm just crazy. Crazy. Crazy for giving my stuff away. So I'm really hoping that this video is going to inspire other people to do the same because sometimes stuff can run our lives and we don't realize how much it weighs on our energy and our mood 
and it can cause all sorts of emotion. So lately I've been evaluating like what I want to do with my time. Do I want to spend my time endlessly sorting through stuff and organizing or do I just get rid of the stuff now, concentrate on other stuff in my house where I can fine tune the things that I do have left and I decided on a second thing, get rid of my stuff, get rid of the stuff that I can and move on. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I, I'm almost there. Whew. So I'm at the Goodwill and this is what they're doing now. They're having everything donated in these boxes and I also got to wait in line. So there's only like three cars, so it's not too bad today. So I'm actually kind of panicky right now. I don't know why, but my heart is in my throat and like my legs are a little shaky and I know it's only stuff, but I've never done this. So here we go. We're gonna pull up. We're gonna pull up. There's a hard worker here. They've got all these bins of separating everything. I'm gonna get my mask out too, just in case. Okay, here we go. Okay, I won't lie. That was tough. That was real tough. I'm actually a little, a little shaky. I noticed some of you might not be a big deal, but uh, for me, this is a big deal. If I can do this, you can do it. <laughs> because this was hard. This is hard letting go of so much stuff. As it is, I still have a handful of things left in the car because I wouldn't take it. So there is a second place in town that'll take donations. So I'm going to head there at some point and drop off the rest. But in the meantime, I hope this inspired everybody to clean your house and get rid of some stuff. Donate it. Give it away. Keep it out of landfills as best as you can. So thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Oh yeah, and subscribe. We're a really small channel and we super appreciate new subscribers. So click the bell for notifications and all that other good stuff. God, I'm actually short-winded. Until the next video, as my camera falls, <laughs> so I'm driving away. <laughs> I'm gonna home and relax. Oh my God, this is kind of traumatic. It's like surreal. I got rid of all that stuff. Bye stuff. Bye. Oh, we're bound. Oh, as stuff falls over in my car. And I didn't even go shopping. We're in the middle of a pandemic, so I really didn't feel like I really needed anything. So I'm just gonna go home and stay safe.